All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Jung Lo, the owner of a dragon house. Today is September 19th at noon, 12 o'clock uh, on a Sunday. The first fighter we're signing for our upcoming event November 13th at the heart of San Francisco, Keysar Pavilion, Jung Lo Cage Fighting Series number two and collaborate, uh, uh, incorporated with another promotion called MFC. It's going down November 13th now. Let's introduce you, this gentleman right here, officially signed, will be making his professional debut, Armando Velasquez. Now, Armando, good to have you on board, brother. You. Let's introduce you to all the MMA Five fans out there, who you are, and a little bit about yourself, and where you're coming from. Coming from Lake County, um, been doing this for, since I was 21, I'm 32 right now. 11 years, more yeah. than a decade. Yeah, and I've been doing other martial arts before that, boxing, wrestling, stuff like that when I was younger. Um, yeah, that's about it. So wh where were you born and raised? I was uh, born in Santa Rosa, raised in Lake County. Santa Rosa, so your home bred Santa Rosa. Yeah. Now which gym do you train at right now? I'm currently at the Fury Academy in Lake County and in Ukiah, California. Ukiah. So now, how do you get a hold of me and, and, and get on this fight car? Let's, you know. So one of my buddies uh, uh, hit me up and told me about you and gave me your info. And stuff. That's awesome. That's awesome. And your buddy highly, you know, recommend you. It's like, man, you want to see an exciting fun. You you, you got to get this Armando guys on your car. This guy's a scrappy. You know, he's exciting. You know, he's down to fight. And he's like, okay, well, let me try it out because. I have another person is perfectly the same exact weight class as you, uh, uh, wants to make a pro debut. I'm like, ah, maybe I'll put this fight together. You guys will be the first pro, pro fight of the night. We have a, a 11 pro fight that night. You the first pro fight, kick off the card. Hopefully you can kick off a good firework for all the audience, you know? So now, um, what do you start when you're 21 years old? What do you start with the first martial art you got into? Uh, it's just all around MMA. Wow, so you've been doing MMA for 11 years. So a little bit about yourself. What's your specialty? Uh, I like standing up, so boxing is my preference a little bit. Boxing. So I match you up with uh, uh, um, Brendan Chu. That's a perfect matchup for you guys. It's both you guys are pretty much identical, same age, same size, that love to stand up, don't really touch the ground much. So uh, uh, what what you think of your opponent? I think he's a good fighter. Gonna be a good brawl, I think. Uh, I think the fans will like it. It's gonna be stand up probably most of the time. Yeah. So, do you since he's only stand up only? Do you think about training to taking him down, maybe drown him on the ground? What's your game plan coming into this fight? If you don't uh, mind to leak out some info. Kind of just ready for whatever comes in the end. Nice. Not really much for having a game plan and sticking to it. So just, just go on there. Just there. go with it. Going with the flow. That's pretty awesome. Now, when is the last time you fought? Uh, I believe in 2019. So it's been two years during the pandemic. Do you ever think about doing this two years layoff will have a little bit of ring rust for you to make a comeback in two years? I mean, I've been training the whole time, so I think that'll be good. That's pretty awesome. And that's what you're supposed to do, you yeah. know? But a lot of people, the two year pandemic, they're like, Two years is away from the gym now they're trying to get back into it like on my last event we have a pretty huge success to drawing a good crowd a lot of up-and-comer fighting on the car like I noticed in doing the pandemic a lot of OGs retired a lot of guys making a pro debut including this upcoming card November 13th a lot of people is gonna make a pro debut as well now this upcoming fight card is very unique because we are uh, collateral with uh, the, the MFC promotion Mongolian champion fighting uh, they have a lot of Mongolian coming into the Bay Area to fight the United States local guy. So uh, it's going to be interesting. There's a lot of guys I've never even met before. So it's going to be half the fight card. It's a local people battle. Half the fight card, it's a Mongolian battle with the local Bay Area fighter. So wow. it's a very interesting to watch this upcoming fight card. Um, now, if people, or do you have a job or something besides training fighting? Yeah, I work at Trouble Health as a security maintenance. Security maintenance. That's your full-time gig? Yeah. Got a family. Yeah, I got a daughter, Angelina, love of my life, and a girlfriend, Virginia Carl. That's awesome. Well, I'm happy for you, brother. Thank you. So now, um, if people want to get a hold of you to buy tickets to watching you fight, how can people contact you? 
Uh, you can contact me on my Instagram, MMA.MondoVasquez, or on Facebook, uh, MondoVasquez Barajas Jr. That's pretty awesome. Now, do you have any special loved ones, training partner, coaches, uh, any sponsors that you want to shout out to? Oh, definitely. Uh, Bruno uh, Wallace, great coach. Um, couldn't, wouldn't be here without him. Uh, love his gym. Uh, his wife, uh, good too. Uh, she, they're both owners of the gym. Um, I want to throw a shout out to Mobiato, uh, my first one of my first sponsors that he actually just offered. Nice. And um, uh, the Trillium Earth Company, um, the, my second sponsor. In what do they do, the Trillium Earth Company? Uh, so he's like a herbalist. Like guy. a cannabis? No, uh, no? Herb, like natural herbs. For natural like herbs? Healing and uh, uh, just an extra thing that I use for like. The recovery. recovery That's stuff. awesome, you know. Well, where are they located? They're in Ukiah. They're in um, Ukiah. Right next to the gym in Ukiah. <laughs> okay, well, some of you guys want to check that herbal facility out. Make sure you guys go check it out. Tr Trillium. Trillium. Coke. Trillium Herbal. Make sure you guys check it out. So they have Instagram. I'm sure they have Instagram and Facebook page as well. Absolutely. Look them up as well. So um, now, if your opponent, Brendan Chu, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Yeah, I hope we put up a good fight. It's gonna. I, hope, I wanna make it um, exciting. Exciting and memorable. I want everybody to remember it. Now, t you're 32 years old, making your pro, pro debut. What do you see yourself in the next few years? Do you wanna make this as a career, or this is just one of those bucket lists? You just wanna do a couple of pro fights? I'm in it for the long haul. I wanna be in it as long as I can, uh, win as many medals as I can, belts. Wanna, wanna win it all. <laughs> one of those belts. One, one of those belts. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Well, um, I never see you fight before. Uh, I saw a clip of it. I know you're a very exciting uh, uh, a stand-up striker. So uh, against Brendan Chu, this is definitely a perfect matchup for all the five fans out there. Especially some of the five fans don't understand too much about fighting wrestling. They just want to see some knockout. This is the guy you do not want to miss it. This guy put on the firework and then put heat on, put hands on somebody's face and then I'm watching some of your clips. I'm very excited to put on this fight together. So uh, it's awesome. Pleasure to have you on the Kate Jung Lo Cage Fighting Series number one going down November 13. Uh, any other people you want to shout out to? Anything you want to say to all your community and your family? I want to thank everybody uh, from work uh, coming over to come see my fight and every, all my other friends that are coming over. Everybody at the gym that's helping me train. Joe, really appreciate it. Everybody else that I can't remember the name that much. Uh, my family supporting me, uh, my mother always supporting me and uh, everybody else. Making sure every one of your family, make sure you guys get a ticket directly from uh, uh, from Amando. So give him some love and support. I'd like to see the Ukiah crew coming down on November 13. Uh, uh, mandated mask, you have to have it in the stadium or a screenshot of your uh, a uh, 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 um, vaccine card or 72 hours prior to the event, do your COVID test result, um, screenshot, and we'll do the job. So uh, we're looking forward to see you guys on November 13th. This event's a live stream pay-per-view nationwide. So if you cannot make it to the event, make sure you guys order your pay-per-view voucher from dragonhousemma.com. And, um, and make sure you guys sign up my YouTube channel. Thank you for all the love and support. We put up another huge epic event for everyone out there November 13th. Uh, here we go. We have one, one more time shout out to uh, Armando Velasquez. Good to have you on board, brother. Vasquez. 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 Yeah, Vasquez. correct Correct my English. One more time. Vasquez. Vasquez. All right. Armando Vasquez. All right. We'll see you guys November 13th. And I'm Jono signing out. Thank you.